thought I would try something different today. So, the weather's kind of terrible outside. So, I've got my macro stuff going. You can see on the little flower here, I put some blue food coloring in this little spray bottle. And now it kind of give me some different colored water droplets. I got this one in the background because your background is just as important as your foreground in macro. You kind of want it to match what's in the front. And you can see what I've got going on here. Little flower there, I've got my remote shutter, I've got my speed light reflecting off the top. When I take the photo, I turn off all the lights, so it's just a flash. Uh, I also have this little LED light down here that's diffused with some toilet paper. Works pretty well. Other than that, I'm focus stacking these, this image right here, and then I'll probably switch over to something like this. That way I can get some water droplets and reflect the, the purple flower in the back through it. Uh, so hopefully we'll see if that works. One thing that really helps when you're shooting macro like this is to have this macro slider. So you can see here, so I can turn this dial here and it shifts the camera forward ever so slightly. Then you have this one here and it shifts it left to right. And it just makes those small minute adjustments. That way you don't have to turn your focus to try and focus stacks. A lot of times you can't because your depth field is so shallow. Uh, the difference between zero and infinity is like two millimeters. So this way you can slowly move your lens and camera closer to your subject. And it seems to work out pretty well. So that's what I've been doing the time I'm focus stacking on these. Uh, so now I'm going to change what I've got going on here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe color the whole water or find something different. I still need to find something for my bubbles. Uh, so I'm going to do that and I'll let you see how it goes. Well, I went and got some bubble maker. I actually got the more bubbles and the little tube thing. See here. Uh, however, it's not quite working out like I want it to. I think the problem is I really need to be able to freeze the bubbles. And I don't really have a way to do that because it's not cold enough outside and the freezer just doesn't work. So anyway, I went outside and I found this little plant here. You can see that. I've got it ref you know, right in front of that other flower. You can see what I've got here. So what I'm going to do is spray some water droplets on that little flower and it, they should show the bigger flower uh, in inside the bubble and then I'll do some focus stacking to try and get as many bubbles as I can in focus. So that's where I'm at and hopefully this is going to work because it's been a lot of work. My plan didn't work out. Can't get any bubbles or water droplets to sit on this little flower there. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got this. Could try that. Worst that can be is it won't work again. So that's just the joys of macro. So I'll just keep working at it. So I've been trying just different scenarios. You can see I put this flower right there and change my, the angle of my camera. And uh, you know, some things are working out, some things aren't. That's just the way macro works. Uh, the one thing about macro is you really don't want to go less than say a 50 millimeter lens with extension tubes uh, because after anything less than that, your focal point is actually inside the lens, which doesn't really work. Uh, they do make dedicated macro lenses. You know, Canon has their 100 millimeter, uh, Sigma and Tamron each have them. Uh, pretty much every company has them. But extension tubes are a cheaper way to go. I've paid, I think, well, like 150 for them, and you get this 36, this 20, and then this 12. You see 12 millimeter, 20 millimeter, and 36. And you can stack them, you just use one. I've got 36 and 20 on. I had this one on earlier, so I had all three. Uh, so, you know, everything's however you want to do it. Uh, flashes really help, depending on the type of flash. Ring flashes can leave a ring if you have, like, water droplets. Each water droplet will have, like, like, a little bright ring around it, which kind of kill it. Uh, I've been using just a little LED light to light things up. I've been bouncing my flash off the ceiling. Just whatever I can come up with to, to add some extra light to it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, check out my website, randybotphotography.com. And I've got you know the workshops set up still. Uh, with Palouse and then any private workshop you want to do. Uh, so other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and here are the photos that I took today. Well, 
tried to take today. I don't know if any are going to turn out, so we'll see. Thanks for watching.